What's up guys? It's Hot Wheels Tournaments and welcome to Hot Wheels Supercars 11 and it is the two year anniversary. That's right, two years ago on June 21st, I uploaded the first ever Hot Wheels Supercars episode. We are now 11 tournaments in and let's take a look at today's competitors. Our first competition section are some track toys, some GT cars. We got a Dodge Viper, a Corvette C7R, a Jaguar F-Type, and a Ford GT race. All decked out in gear, ready to go. Our next section is De La Mans cars. We have cars that have raced in the De La Mans race. Of course, De La Mans takes place in June, so I figured it appropriate to have the De La Mans section in this race. We got the Porsche 917K, a, a vintage Ford GT, a newer Ford GT40, and a Jaguar XJ220. Next up, after the race cars, we got some supercars. We got a Porsche, a Corvette, an Acura, and a BMW, a BMW, and now we have some hypercars. A Porsche 918, a Lamborghini Aventador, a Lamborghini Veneno, and a mystery package car, and you'll see what it is later. So, there's our 16 cars. Let's get racing. Of course, we're on our new 30-foot track that debuted last episode, so now it is longer than a scale quarter mile by a lot and as you guys know a couple weeks ago I had you vote for the Hot Wheels Supercar Hall of Fame our Porsche Cayman is the only member so far however we had six cars that were nominated two of course will be getting in you guys voted and here are the results first up it's the Ferrari 458 Italia getting to join the Porsche Cayman in the Hall of Fame and the second car just etching out the Aston Martin DBS is the Ferrari FF. So there are your two Supercar Hall of Fame members just inducted along with the Porsche Cayman. And our current King of the Hill Ford GT40 concept car is ready to go. First matchup of the day, we got a couple of American GT cars going at it. We got the Dodge Viper ACR versus the Corvette C7R. Let's get to the race. Our first couple cars are set and ready. First race of Hot Wheels Supercars 11 starts in 3, 2, 1. Corvette's got the early lead and holds on to it, fending off the Viper. Corvette... Our next matchup has the brand new Ford GT race taking on a seasoned competitor in the Jaguar F-Type. The winner takes on the Corvette C7R, Ford vs. Jaguar, America vs. Britain in 3, 2, 1. Jaguar got the early jump, it's neck and neck down the straight. Oh my goodness, did the Ford GT race get it at the very end? Yes he did, we'll double check on replay. Early jump, it's neck and neck. The Ford robs the Jaguar of a win. Now we got two legendary De La Mans cars going at it. We got the old, the vintage, the classic GT40 taking on the legendary Porsche 917K. These cars were known for winning a race that lasted a full day. Now they got to win one on a much smaller scale that lasted a couple of seconds. Here we go. Porsche vs. Ford in a battle for De La Mans supremacy. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, the GT40 gets the early jump and runs away with it. Meanwhile, the 917K, uh, ironically, doesn't have that much stamina. The GT40 gets the early jump. Away with it. Next up, we got two more modern De La Mans cars. The Jaguar XJ220 ran in the 90s, and we've got the newer Ford GT40. Ford GTs are already 2 0 today. Can that trend continue to go on, keep going? Here we go. Two more De La Mans cars battle it out. On your marks, get set, go. 
Neck and neck down the straight. Holy crap, these things are fast. The GT40 gets the Jaguar by a nose at the very end. Down the straight. Holy crap, these The G so the Jaguar's light did go off, but you can see clearly the GT40 the GT edged that out. All of the race cars have gone. Now it's time for the stock cars. Not like NASCAR stock cars, but like the cars stock. Yeah. Am I being too like clarifying? I don't know. Anyways, our first matchup sees a couple of supercars in the Acura NSX 2017 version take on the BMW M4. Neither manufacturer, BMW or Acura, have had a lot of success on supercars. However, one is guaranteed to advance to the second round. Who will it be? Three, two, one. BMW with the early jump. Acura overtakes him. Oh my goodness. The Acura wins it. That was so anticlimactic. BMW with the early jump. Acura overtakes him. Oh my goodness. Next up, we got the Porsche 911 GT3 RS in a beautiful green, taking on the brand new Corvette C7 Z06. I cannot wait to see this thing run. Who will move on to get the easy win in the second round against the Acura? Will it be the Porsche or the Corvette? On your marks, get set, go. Neck and neck, off the straight, Corvette pulling away in the end and will win it. Off the straight, Corvette. In the end, now it's time for the main event, the hypercars. First up, we've got the Lamborghini Aventador taking on the Porsche 918 Spider, one third of the Holy Trinity. Let's get racing. We're in for a good one. Two absolutely fantastic cars. Battle it out. Who is it going to be? On your marks, get set, go. Porsche with the early jump. The Aventador comes back though and will win the race. So the Aventador is moving on. Porsche with the early jump. The Aventador comes and will One monstrous Lamborghini and the Aventador has already moved on. Now we have another one in the Veneno taking on the mystery pack car, the Mazda Furai. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. Give me a thumbs up if you got that reference. If you got that reference, you are a true supercar fan. If you don't, just look up the Mazda Furai on Google and you will understand. Anyways, we got two absolutely awesome hypercars battling it out. John got the reference. Oh, and by the way, thanks for helping out again, John. <laughs> two mean looking hypercars are going at it. On your marks, get set, go. Nina with the early lead, Furai battling you back. And he will take down the Veneno. Alright, battling me back. Hey. Ford already has the King of the Hill in the GT90. If that wasn't already enough, though, Ford has advanced three cars to the second round in the Ford GT race, the Ford GT40 uh, older version, and the more modern Ford GT40. Corvette has also, or Chevy has also advanced the Corvette C7R. Its stock brother, just the Corvette C7, is also advanced. The Acura just barely made it somehow. The Lamborghini has advanced the Aventador, and Mazda has advanced the Furai. Well, look who has shown up at last. If it isn't the cat, the myth, the legend, Fat Cat! Who will win? Will it be the Corvette C7R or the Ford GT race? The winner will go to the semifinals representing the GT car portion of the bracket. George, George. <laughs> well, my cat hates it when I do that. <laughs> would it be a supercars matchup without a Ford versus Chevy rivalry? And of course, Fat Cat is coming over here to investigate and make sure everything's okay. Anyways, Ford versus Chevy. It's an age-old rivalry. Who's gonna get it this time? It's the battle for America. On your marks, get set, go. Neck and neck down the straight. It's the Chevy pulling away and knocking off the Ford GT race. It's the Chevy pull. And 
and knocking off the 4 GT race. Now we've got two versions of the 4 GT 40 going at it. We've got the original version from Matchbox taking on a slightly newer version from Hot Wheels. The Fords face off. Who's headed to the semifinals? On your marks, get set, go. Neck and neck, and now the Hot Wheels GT40 pulls away. So, of course, a GT40 is headed to the semis. And now the Hot Wheels GT40 pulls Time to figure out which of our four supercars was fastest. Will it be the 2017 Acura NSX or the new Corvette C7? We all know this is going to be a landslide, so let's get it over with. And of course, the Corvette is destroying, not even close. And if it was possible, somehow it was, the Acura does even worse. And of course, the Corvette... Time to see which of the cars was fastest from the Hypercars group. Will it be the Furai or the Aventador? The Aventador and the Furai face off. Who's gonna get the last ticket to the semis? On marks, get set, go. It's tight early. Neck and neck down the track. The Aventador will nose away though, just pulling away from the Furai in the end there. Tight early. Neck and neck down the track. The semis are set in what I believe is a supercar first. We have three American cars, two Chevys, and a Ford, and one Italian car. Once again, Lamborghini makes it to the finals. We've got the two variations of the C7, a Ford GT, and if you guys have watched supercars, you know that the Ford GT is very dominant. I believe variations of the Ford GT have been to the finals on three separate occasions, so that's impressive. I don't think C the C7R has ever been to the finals. However, the Aventador is a former champion, so this should be interesting. A lot of history here. Chevy and Ford face off. Chevy has put two cars in the finals. Ford has put three cars in the finals. Let's see which one will prevail here. And once again, Chevy versus Ford on the track here in supercars. On your marks, get set, go. The GT gets the early lead. The C7R can't make it up. And for the second time, the Ford GT40 is headed to the finals. The lead, the C7. Chevy missed its first opportunity to advance. However, the C7 is still in it, but it's facing a formidable opponent in the Aventador. The Aventador has had a couple of disappointing runs after its finals appearance in Supercars 2. However, a victory here can absolutely put all of that to shame. On your marks, get set, go. We're off. Lamborghini with their early lead. The C7 coming back. And the Aventador passes for the third time in the race. Oh my goodness. What a back and forth matchup that was. Absolutely incredible. We're off. Lamborghini with their... I just want to take a moment to realize how amazing that race was. There were three different lead changes, which never happens in a Hot Wheels race. I've never seen it before until that one race. The Aventador got the early lead, then the C7 passed back, but then the Aventador got him in the last little stretch. That's the great thing about this 30-foot track is it's so long that you can have changes like that. You really get a chance to see how fast the cars really are. And it leads me to my next question. After seeing such a good race, how would you guys feel about a Supercars Top 10 Greatest Races video? If you'd like to see that, comment down below and let me know because I am totally willing to make Here it. Here is your finals matchup. The Ford GT40 lost in the finals of Supercars 4. The Lamborghini Aventador was the champion of Supercars 2. Another cool little note, I picked the Ford GT40 to win it all. John picked the Aventador. Anyways, it's the first to three wins here. Lamborghini versus Ford. Who's going to take the first race? Best three out of five. On marks, get set, go. Ford gets the jump and is just outrunning the Lamborghini. 
that GT40 gets off the line like nobody else. And it's just out. The Lambert. We've switched lanes. The Aventador gets killed off the line by the GT40. Let's see if it can do anything about it. On your marks, get set, go. Better this time. The yeah, Ford GT40 is still just a faster car, though. Just has a lot more stamina than the Lamborghini. The yeah, Ford GT40. The Lamborghini is down 2-0 to the GT40. If the Aventador is going to turn things around, it has to start now. On your marks, get set, go. Even off the line, but the GT40 just has the acceleration. The Aventador cannot match it. The GT40. For the second time in Supercars history, a Ford is your champion. The Ford GT40 is the champion of Supercars 11. It also continues a weird trend we have where cars that are white are very fast and do very well. It's the sixth time a car that's the color white has won Supercars. I don't know why that is, but it is going to face off against the other Ford champion, the current King of the Hill, the GT90. Fun fact, it's the second time that the King of the Hill matchup has featured two cars from the same manufacturer. Your King of the Hill matchup is set. It's the Ford concept car, the GT90, taking on one of the legendary Fords in the GT40. Just like the championship matchup, the first of three wins is your winner here. Who's going to be King of the Hill? Is it going to be the Ford GT90 or the Ford GT40? On your marks, get set, go. Neck and neck, the GT90 is killing the GT40. Neck and neck, the GT90. Killing. We've switched lanes for this race, of course. And it's worth noting that Ford GT90 can set a supercar's record for most tournaments as King of the Hill. The record right now is two. He's tied with the 458 Italia and the FF, who are both Hall of Famers. No car's ever been king for three tournaments straight, which I find a little weird. But here he is with the opportunity to do so, up one nothing on his brother. On your marks, get set, go. And it's the GT90 just smoking the GT40. In the same way the GT40 had the acceleration over the Lamborghini, the GT90 has the acceleration over the GT40. God, GT is a lot to say. I'm getting a little tired of it. GT90... Can the, the GT90 has the chance to make history. Can the GT40 make a miraculous comeback? On your marks, get set, go. GT40 got the nose there, but the GT90, we've said it all night, is just the faster car out here. So there it is. The GT90 continues his reign as King of the Hill, stretching it to three tournaments now. He also set the record for most wins in supercars history in the progress in the process, congratulations to the Ford GT90. Got the nose there, but... Thank you all so much for watching Hot Wheels Supercars 11. I really appreciate it. I have a lot of fun filming them. So make sure to drop a like, a comment, and if you aren't already, subscribe. The Ford GT90 is still your king. The Ford GT40 falls just short. Comment down below any cars you want to see race. Um, so that's all for now, guys. Peace.